Hi, my friend. Grab a cup of coffee. I have Earl Grey tea. Could be a glass of wine, but you and I, we're gonna talk beauty. Welcome to the Monday Beauty Review. I'm glad you're here. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm a 25 year, over 25 year makeup artist. I come from the Hollywood industry and I saw a real hole of mature beauty content in our community. And so I created the Mature Makeup Masterclass about two years ago. It's now up to 23 videos. I'm hoping to add more soon. I just can never catch up. I'm like a dog chasing its tail, but you can always check out that intro video. One of my reasons I love doing the Monday Beauty Review, and I've decided to scale it back to maybe once a month, maybe if I'm getting a ton of PR, I'll do two a month, but I want to talk about hits and misses. I wanna talk about things that are to come on my radar. I'm trying to be a little healthier. And Tate, come here. Tate's always my little sidekick here, come here. I love Diet Dr. Pepper, but I've really got to scale back. It's fine for an occasional treat. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm relying on it every day. And when I don't have it, I get really foggy headed and I've been really foggy headed today. And so this is why we're doing Earl Grey tea instead. Let me know in comments if you are a tea drinker, are you a coffee drinker, do you do both? I can't do tea in the morning. It hurts my stomach, isn't that odd? Most people say, um, coffee is too acidic. I find tea is very acidic on an empty stomach and it gives me a stomach ache. So I've been doing coffee since I was 17 years old, every day of my life. I like tea though in the afternoons. It's cold out today. It's in the forties. Let me know how cold it is where you are, but we had a spring weekend and now we're 44 degrees today. And then at the end of the week, we're ramping back up. Okay. I am going to start with First of all, I want it to always feel like, you know, I'm in your home or you're in my home and I'm speaking to you as though I would speak to my best friend, Kara, um, my, my inner circle, which is, uh, my friend, Ashley, Carla, Gwen, and, um, oh my gosh, is that Carla, Gwen, Ashley, Kara? That's it. That's my inner circle. <laughs> I have others too that are um, very close. Oh, my friend Leah is definitely in my inner circle, but she lives in California. So we have to do life um, on Marco Polo, but I love her. Um, I, I want you to always feel like I'm talking to you as though I talk to them. And when I do meet people in person, the one thing I hear as feedback is people say you're exactly in person how you are online. I don't know how else to be. That's that's all I know is just to be who I am. I mean, who I am is who I am, whether I'm talking to you or, or I'm in person talking to you. So I want this to always feel like, I want all my videos to feel like you and I are just hanging out in person, but specifically the Monday Beauty Review, like we're sitting across from a table together and I'm telling you, yeah, this just didn't work or, oh, I really love this or I love this, but you don't need to spend money on this. And we're gonna talk about some things today. Uh, and then what's to come. I want to talk about some, some things to come. Okay. I'm going to start with a miss. I'm going to start with a big, big miss. And for me, that was the Ilia, um, skin. What are they calling this? The complexion sticks. Sorry. The Ilia complexion sticks. They sent them in two shades. I had high hopes. I really had high hopes. It comes in 42 shades, which I thought was so impressive. Um, it's a soft matte finish. I tried it this week and I was shocked at how much sheen it had. I'm like, how is this a soft matte finish? Like instantly it was sheeny. And then I would say it stayed pretty sheeny for about an hour or two. And I was like, how is this soft matte? And then I got busy, you know, with my day, emailing, running errands, all the things. And when I went to look at it at night, it was, you know, maybe six and a half, seven hours later. So that's not even a full day, but I went, you know, it was at night and I'm looking in my 10 time magnification mirror. And I was like, oh my gosh, it looks, it looks dry. 
it looked, it was a soft mat, uh, more so on my forehead. I would say soft mat, kind of pretty on the forehead, but all through here, dry. And then something really crazy is, you know, when I'm hydrated, you know, I have some little lines coming down here that are just really kind of starting. Um, but you don't see them. You don't really see my little lines because they're so fine. They're almost naked to the, to they're, they're invisible to the naked eye. But when I had the ilia on and I looked in the mirror, like I could see deep lines, not crow's feet, deep. I was shocked. I was shocked. It was showing me lines I didn't even know I had. So if you've tried the ilia complexion sticks and loved it, please let us know in comments because I'm normal to dry, but I'm really pretty normal. I say normal to dry because that's kind of a category in skincare, but I'm really normal. I really don't get too dry unless it's like the dead of winter and the central heat in the house is, you know, just sucking all the moisture out of me. But that's why we wear barrier cream at night, right? Or we slug or we, we, any, we do some kind of occlusive, which kind of locks your moisture in. And so I feel like I've, the last couple winters have been so much better for me because I just have better um, skincare. So that just didn't work for me. And I'm wondering if it did work for those of you who are normal to oily, could you let us know in comments? Cause that would be fantastic. I've seen mature women talking about this and saying, oh, finally a cream complexion stick for mature skin. Huge disappointment. It was not pretty. And it, it made my skin look so much older than even liquid foundation. And it's a cream. I find that cream foundations um, in a pot like a um, mob or saint or i just got cover fx haven't tried it yet cover fx makes a cream um who else kat von d anything that's in a pan poured in a pan tends to be more emollient than a stick a stick tends to be drier even the fenty blur sticks it's a pretty foundation. I would say it's a very natural finish. And after seven or eight hours, it still looked nice on me, but it was definitely more of a natural finish. Um, but even the Fenty sticks, I don't like much as a poured pan. I will keep you posted on that cover FX. I have high hopes, but we'll see. Mm. Okay, so here's another thing. This week, this past week, Allure did top 15 foundations for mature skin. Instantly, when I see a title like that, I was like, mm-hmm, what, are we 30? Did we, who wrote this? 30-year-olds? Anyway, it was missing a lot of really popular foundations for the mature community. Um, but again, with Allure magazine, a lot of times you have to pay to play. It didn't used to be that way, but now I think magazines are hurting and Allure has, you know, their Allure, um, awards. And so if you get that little red seal of approval, it's a big deal. It helps sell your product. Um, but it is a very much a pay to play. So I did a video with the 15 foundations that they were talking about and you know it's on TikTok and then I moved it over to Instagram you can always go watch it there it's even on my Facebook if you don't know I now have a Facebook business page mature makeup masterclass so if you don't want to be on um, Instagram it's linked to my Instagram and you could always find content there so one thing that was in um the 15 top foundations was the La Mer Soft Fluid Foundation. Now you can see it's still, I just received it. It's still sealed and it's $150. Again, I can write this off. Not, I'm not asking other women to go buy this $150 for foundation, but I get to write it off. It's a tax write off. Um, in a million years, I would have never bought this because I've seen young influencers talk about this, but I've not seen mature influencers talk about this. I'm sure mature gals here on YouTube talk about this, but I don't follow mature women here on YouTube. I don't have time. I literally hop on, do my content and hop off. And then and when I am on YouTube, I'm so busy replying to as many comments as I can because I see you and I want you to feel heard and I want you to feel loved and I want you to feel a part of this community. So I don't have time to watch YouTubes because I'm so busy making YouTubes and then commenting. 
So I bought this, $150. The only reason I bought this, I'll tell you why. I worked on Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret, the film, and also Baywatch. And the department head was Kim Green. Kim Green was Lindsay Lohan's makeup artist for many, many years. She's done Christina Applegate for all of her TV shows. Um, she was Kathy Bates' personal makeup artist also on Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. She still does Kathy Bates. Anyway, she told me, she came into my comments and she said, Michelle, I just put this on an over 50 actress and she looked phenomenal all day. I kept checking the camera, I kept checking close up, I kept checking the monitor, and she. this was so beautiful. And I'm like, okay, Kim Green, okay, we'll see. We'll see about it. I'm not trying to prove her wrong, I love Kim Green. I highly respect her, but I'm gonna try it out in probably an upcoming YouTube, and we will talk about if this is worth the price. 150 bucks for foundation. I. Probably, I don't think so. And then while I was at it, I got the Radiant Skin Tint, which has an SPF 30 because I love, I'm a skin tint girl. Okay, let's talk about skin tints. Let's talk about $150, $120 formulas. And let's talk about something that was $6. Ulta Beauty, I just did a whole video on Saturday. If you haven't seen it, I chose 11 products Ulta Beauty, 11 products. I tried to see what was the very, very, very least expensive face I could get out the door with, and it all had to be brand new. Everything had to be brand new. And so I got out the door for $50.33. You can go watch that video, but this is one of the items I use in the video. It is the Ulta Beauty Tinted Moisturizer SPF 24. So you're gonna need a better SPF. That's not enough SPF but it's their Hydra Tint. I got um, originally shade light to medium and it's way too dark, but it'll be great for summer. This is Fair Light and it is stunning. It is stunning. If you want a glue, glowy, dewy finish, this is for you. If you are normal to oily, this might not be for you. But I wore this about three, four days in a row. I wore it yesterday even. I just did a Mandelic peel, which we're gonna talk about in a few minutes. And I wore this yesterday um, out to church and, and out to lunch with my friend. And this was beautiful. So I, I love it. And it, it's I think it retails for $12 or $14. I can't remember, but right now the Ulta Beauty sale, all the Ulta Beauty brand is 40% off. So this was really impressive to me. And then I went ahead and got their under eye brightener. I have it on right now. It has a beautiful radiance to it and it brightens and kind of color corrects. This is kind of a pinky peach. This is light to medium, and then they make a medium deep, which is deeper peach. This is $10. I got it for six, because it's 40% off. Ulta Beauty Brand is 40% off. I've worn this four or five days in a row now. I have no makeup on my face today. The only thing I have on, because again, I just did the Mandelic peel, so I like to give my skin a few days to breathe and shed and everything. I just have Naked Sundays on, that's it. And then I put this under the eye. I did I did some mascara, I did some brows, but I'm so, I'm so impressed with that product. Okay, that's on the ground, we'll have to get that later. I'm so impressed with that under eye brightener. Then I wore Lashify all weekend and I wore Lashify in my video on Saturday, but I went ahead and bought a mascara because women need a mascara. And I have it on today and look at how long my lashes are. Now I do use a lash serum. I use Obagi Lash Serum, but look at that. And do you see they're long, but they're soft. That's because I chose brown. I just think brown is so pretty for mature women. Now, if I was going to a big gala or out with friends, I'd probably wear black or I'd wear Lashify, but for every day, look at how pretty that brown mascara is. It's just soft, it's just soft. So this is the Lash Without Limits Brown and this is by Essence, it was $4.99. I really, really, really like it. So many people have asked for a brow video, mature brows. And you know, I hate to do brows on camera. It takes too long. It's so boring. And again and again, the feedback is no, I really like watching you do brows. It really helps me. 
So I, I'm going to do a brow video this week and we're going to talk about all my favorite products for mature brows. What I use if you're in my makeup chair, what I use on myself, some lower end products and some higher end products and we're going to break it down and we're going to talk about it. But today I have a brand new product I have never used before or I should say a shade. I've never used this shade. This is the Anastasia Pomade. I've used the pomade before in blonde, but I the caramel caught my eye, and I'm like, ooh, caramel's gonna go very warm in the brow, and it did say on the website for like warm brown hair, not brunette, warm brown, and I'm going warmer, right? Like even this week, I'm, I'm going even warmer with my hair color, a little bit warmer. Um, so I really like this caramel shade. So if you if you have warm hair and you never can find a shade for your brows that, that's not too red or not too ashy, this caramel is nice and warm without being too reddish and without being ashy. And I'm really impressed. So we'll break that down this week. Oops, time for more tea. Okay. Okay, I also got this I ordered this this is the new Dior glow maximizer forever glow maximizer did I need it no no I didn't need it but I really like creams and liquids when people are in my chair and you know I'm going to start doing more makeup here in Nashville um just for you know professional makeup um, production. But anyway, this is Dior Forever Glow and I want it. It comes in six shades. I think three are like very sheer, more like a highlighter and then the three shades have more color in it. So it's almost like a blush and highlighter in one. But I wanted to show you what this looks like because it's really, really so pretty. So I went with peach because as you know, I'm now a warm spring. I love it. You know what my season says? Midway between spring and autumn, the warm palette is more toasted than spring and less earthy than autumn. I love my palette. I love my palette. I love it. I love, I'm having so much fun shopping for it. You know, and I'm not gonna get rid of my whole wardrobe. I've spent years building my wardrobe and building classics and all my classics are black and gray and white and ivory. And so it's going to take time to slowly weed out my closet and start bringing in colors that are more toasty than spring and less earthy than autumn. And I'm having so much fun doing it. But do you see that? Is that crazy? That is so beautiful. And I put a lot on. There's no way anyone needs three dots. But I wanted you to really see it. Like here's this cheek and then here's this cheek. It comes in pink. It comes in a really pink color. And I forget what the... I forget what the um, third color is, but like I said, it comes in three kind of spark, more sparkly sheer finishes and then three deeper. And um, I, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I would put this over Demi blush. I would put this over a lot of blushes, but you know, if I'm gonna put it over a, a regular blush, I'm probably only gonna put like one dot because it's a lot of highlighter. It's a lot. I'm going to do a little bit up here. And then I always do a little bit at the top of the forehead because we get color at the top of the forehead. But look, I have no, I have no makeup on today. I have brows. I have mascara. I have that Ulta under eye brightener. And then I just popped a little of this on and tell me that you could not wear this exact amount of makeup and run errands and feel really cute and pulled together. Of course, probably a little something on the lips for more most of you and I get it. I, I totally get it. Okay. So if you see anyone talking about these, this is a heck yeah. This is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And I want to get the, um, I want to get the pink one and I'm going to have to look and see, but, and, and it's heavy and they're not cheap. This, these are not cheap, but I had, I had to have it. I had to have it for my kit. Has anyone seen this City Beauty lid lifting treatment? Now, City Beauty years and years ago sent me their plumping lip glosses, and I liked them. I liked them fine. They're very nice, but they sent a lid lifting treatment. I have it on my upper eyelids, and I don't know what it's supposed to be doing. Um, I mean, maybe it's kind of evening me out a little bit, 
or maybe it's going to start like lifting the skin. I don't know. Jury's out, but keep, keep your eyes on this because I am going to use this regularly every day and see if I notice any change or any difference in my eyes. Okay. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. I like to break the video up. It makes it easier to edit. Okay. So my, let, you know what, let me talk about two more things from PR and then I'll start going into my own private purchases. I'm really, really trying not to wear antiperspirant. Um, I do when I work outside of the home, but as many of you know, I haven't worked outside of the home in quite a while. I miss it. I do. I miss working outside of the home, but I also love being home all the time and I love doing what I do and I love educating women on mature technique. And so I'm really blessed to be able to do this, but I do miss being creative on other people. Um, but when I'm home, I don't really sweat, um, at least not yet. And so what I'm loving is Dove sent me these liquid deodorants. I'm sure they're trying to compete with Lumi deodorant, which I didn't love Lumi. It worked. I just didn't love, I don't like applying a cream. I just don't like that. I don't know why. I just don't like applying a cream with my hands to my underarms or um, I would use it sometimes if I was going to be out in humidity working in TV and film, I could use, you know, Lumi below the belt and it, and it did help. It just, I don't like it, but this is Dove deodorant. There is no aluminum in here. There's no antiperspirant. It smells, oh, it smells so good, which I know we're probably not supposed to put fragrance in our armpits, but this is coconut vanilla. It doesn't smell like your traditional pina colada coconut though. Oh my gosh, it's, I wear, I use this every day, every day. I love it. So I just wanted to talk about how beautiful that is. If anyone is really wanting a beautiful, safer deodorant, um, I love it. Okay. Now, I don't know if some of you have heard or seen, there is a new skincare brand on the market. It's got a very impressive patented peptide and it's called One Skin. Okay, and this is it. It's called One Skin. And they sent me some in PR. And then they said, would you like to work with us? And I said, well, um, I don't know. I mean, I really have to use skincare for a while before I can decide if I like it. I have to use skincare for a while before I can take it to my audience and say, hey, this is really impressive. It was you who noticed that my skin looked so good with Sonia Roselli, right? And so many of you have tried Sonia Roselli and it's very plumping and very gorgeous. But I didn't want to just start selling this because I didn't, you know, I need time. I need time to see if something's working. And so they said, would you like to join a Zoom and hear more about it? And I said, yes, because I love science, research, clinical studies, give me all the data, I love it. I was on a Zoom about two weeks ago with One Skin, and it was the formulators of One Skin. There's four female scientists slash doctors who created this peptide, and they were so impressed, they decided to bring it to market, but that was not their original intent. I was the only makeup artist slash mature content creator on this call. The entire Zoom was cosmetic chemists and doctors. So I was like, wow, I'm like really honored to be here. Um, but I learned so much. It was a full hour. I took copious notes. I was geeking out. The slides are what really impressed me. The slides of skin close up, um, obviously under magnifying glass. The peptide, this OS01 peptide did a better job thickening and cushioning skin than tretinoin. And you know, I don't love tretinoin. I've broken up with tretinoin so many times. I just feel like it's corrosive to the skin. I know it's the gold standard. I prefer a little bit of retinol now. And again, you know, I love the rock retinol. This is great. It's beautiful under makeup. You can wear the nighttime version at night. And then I love my retinaldehyde because retinaldehyde is so gentle, but so effective. But because of all my peels, I've really stepped away from vitamin A products because it's just too much with all the peels that I'm doing. 
but this has worked great. I have used this twice a day religiously. They sent an eye cream, but I'm, I'm, the, the eye cream seems fine, but it's the body cream and the face cream that I'm so impressed with that I went back to them within two weeks and I'm like, I, I, I want to talk about this. I want to work with you. I'm impressed. So we're going to talk more about this in the future. I just wanted to put it on your radar. And the good thing is, is, um, they call this a moisturizer, but it's a topical sup, sup, uh, supplement. I treat this as though it's like my retinol layer. So I still use this with Sonia Roselli because when I use this alone, my skin feels firm, but it does, it's not that juicy, plump hydration that I get from Sonia Roselli. So I literally use this with my Sonia Roselli and I treat this like a tretinoin, even though there's nothing in it that irritates skin. The OS01 peptide is, um, uh, it's a new peptide that they discovered that goes in and does such phenomenal reverse aging to your cells and inflammation. And I just wanted that to be on your radar because if you see me talking about it, in the next month or two, I don't want you to be like, wait a minute, she likes Sonia Roselli. Yep, still do, still love Sonia Roselli, but I'm I'm incorporating the one skin into it. And this on the body, and you can't tell right now I'm in a sweatshirt, it's cold today, but this on the body, oh my gosh, on my neck, my chest, my arms, like it takes the crepiness off my arms. And I'm like, wow, I really, really love that body cream. This stuff is not cheap. One skin is not cheap, uh, but they will give me a code eventually. So I wanted to warn everyone about that. Okay, now my hair was really losing its warmth. Okay, I was really, I you know, I got my hair done in January. I touched up the roots um, a few weeks ago, and now I'm ready to touch them up again, but I'm going to go in every eight weeks. My palette, it says hair should be warm brown, golden red, avoid ash, blonde, or black, okay? Avoid ash. This is why I was getting thrown out of my season and I didn't feel cute. I mean, I felt cute with makeup on, but you know, like, I just, nothing was working, okay? And that's why, you know, I went for my seasonal color analysis. So I'm loving my deeper hair, but I was starting to get a little beige, and so I, one night in bed, I start researching hair color masks. I wanted something simple that would buy me some time and, that I could do in the shower. And I researched so many different brands. This is the one that got the best reviews. This is IGK. I think this mask might be about $24, but it, there's a lot in here. This is six ounces and I've used it twice. I use it once a week. Wash your hair as normal and then really wring out all that extra water and moisture. And I really get my hair damp and not wet. And then I put a good size of this into my hands and I start really running it through my hair and my ends, especially where I'm dry. And you leave it in about, it says about five minutes. Now you can put it on dry hair if you really want it to deepen, but I just wanted it to make me more gold. And this color is Honey Blonde. Yeah, Honey Blonde. I just wanted it to make me more gold. And I leave it on five minutes, I wash it out. It There's not a tangle in my hair, so it really is a, nutri a nutritive, nutritive? Nutrient dense, we'll say that, nutrient dense mask. So my hair comes out super easily and my hair never comes out easily. And then it it gives me that really nice honey blonde golden tone that I need. So if any of you are like kind of losing your red tone or you're losing your chestnut brown or you're using you're losing your you know champagne gold you know whatever you can do one of these hair masks and it's it could not be more simple and the first time I used it I was so blown away by how golden it made especially my highlights so I really love this brand and I wanted you to know about it and it gets five stars has thousands of reviews of five stars okay we're gonna talk about the mandelic acid peel that I did because you know that I'm 
using Platinum Skincare now. I reached out to them. I said, I know I'm going to commit to using your peels. I want to really get to know the peels myself and, and see some really nice success before I take it to my viewers because, you know, I, again, you're my friend. Would I just put you down a path of peels and, and leave you high and dry and let you screw up your skin? I would never do that. Not to anyone I know. So I really want to understand the, the platinum peel system before I bring you all into it. I did a mandelic peel Friday night and it is so, so simple that I think it's something I can easily tell you about. I can post my link, you get a discount and it is a beautiful peel. Mandelic acid is good for pigmentation and you're not gonna shed, there's no downtime. I just choose not to wear makeup the first couple days because I, if I do get little flakes, I don't like to mix makeup with little flakes. But like I said, I wore this out yesterday to church and to lunch with a friend and I thought my skin looked great. Today I woke up and I had a little bit of flaking here and a little bit at the, kind of at the temples and I just, you know, exfoliated in the shower and, and my skin does look good today but I wanted to go one more day makeup free okay so I want to show you what the mandelic peel looks like because um it just it was so easy here it is okay so one thing is they send you they they prepare you so much more so than the company I used before where I burned my face. They send you this little cotton pad and you're going to kind of fold it in half. And then here is the mandelic acid and it's the tiniest little bottle. It's tiny. I probably used 50% of this bottle so I can use, I can use one more use, but look how little it is. Look compared to my nose. So tiny, so cute. Um, so what I did is I really cleaned my face well, and then I use a pre-prep solution, which is basically like an alcohol. It's just stripping any oil off your face because peels won't do well with oil. It really needs a dry, dry face. And then I poured this on my little cotton pad and you kind of like squeeze it just so that you get the drips out. You want the pad to be saturated, but you don't want it to be dripping because it's acid. You don't want it to drip on your face or, you know, anywhere that you don't want dripping. So I went with the Mandelic 40. The Platinum recommends going with the Mandelic 22 if you have rosacea, if you are a teenager, but I do think most of you can handle the Mandelic 40. Now, remember I did TCA six weeks ago, so I literally promised my best friend, Kara, I would wait six weeks before I tried another peel. And I decided to go gentle, not jump right back into a TCA. So I did this Friday night and I, you know, you just, you swipe it real evenly on your forehead, down your nose, here and here, you go down the temples and then you start just to swipe the face nice and evenly. You go over the mouth, you do that so you're not getting it on the lips, and then I went down the neck, okay? You wait about five minutes, if you can. If it feels like a little prickly, that's good. It means it's working. You could always take, um, where's my fan? You could always take a fan and just use a fan on your face to cool yourself off. I waited five minutes and then I went back in with another coat um, and then waited another five minutes. Now, in looking back on the instructions, I could have easily left this on up to 30 minutes, but I didn't. And that's okay. I was kind of testing the waters. I've never done a mandelic acid peel. I've done a lactic acid peel and lactic acid was a little spicier than this. This was really nice. This really was a very nice peel. And what I noticed immediately Friday night after I washed it off is I just looked um, creamy. I looked creamy and glowy. And the next morning I woke up and I maybe had the tiniest bit of pink in my cheeks, but like really diffused, not like any spots of pink, like diffused pink. And then my sunspots, it was like, wait, what sunspot? Like, I have this bigger one right here, and I'm telling you, Saturday morning, it was almost gone. And I was like, whoa, that's amazing. So 
I, I like mandelic acid. I'm gonna wait two more weeks and I'm gonna do the rest of this peel. I'm gonna do another mandelic acid, but I'm gonna leave it on up to 30 minutes. And then um, next month after I'm done going on college tours with Gracie, cause we're gonna be in the car, then I'm going to do um, my TCA peel again. And for my TCA, I'm gonna show you one thing I got is I got a TCA eye peel, and this is a TCA peel just for eyes. And um, it's really, it's it's just so impressive because they make sure, the, the instructions are just so impressive with, like here it is, they give you all the instructions here, but more importantly, I'm a visual learner. So I like to watch, Jennifer. Jennifer's the owner of Platinum. I like to watch Jennifer's videos and of exactly how she does it and where, but then you have the written instructions as well. But I'm gonna do a TCA 7% um, eye peel for around the eyes um, because it's just gonna help with any type of, you know, T TCA is good for texture. Um, and it helps with sun damage too, but it's really good for texture. So anyway, I'll put the mandelic peel in my um, description today. If you type today's title, um, a description box will pop down. And again, if you have rosacea, get mandelic 22. If you're a teenager and you're dealing with acne pigmentation, get the 22. But most women can handle the 40. And again, you only leave it on up to five minutes. And then if you feel it tingling, you can take it off. If you think you can make it a little bit longer, try 10 minutes your first time. But now I know I could easily make it 30 minutes, okay? I think that's everything today. I think that there's probably more things I could talk about, but we're gonna keep it under 40 minutes today. And I hope you enjoyed your coffee or tea or wine. I'm so, Glad we got to hang out together. I hope you really feel like we're on a little friend date together. That's important to me. I love y'all so much. I feel the love. I love our community. I feel the love within the community. And um, let's just continue to keep growing this beautiful, beautiful look good close up club. I'm happy you're here every single week. Um, I'm, I'm watching new people come to my channel all the time. And the way I look at that is they're, they're here joining us. They're not just following me. They're here joining us. I want this to be the most beautiful, mature community in the world. And we already are, but we're, we're just going to keep climbing. We're going to keep going. So thank you for, for being here. It, your support means the world to me. And I love you all so much. It's such a pleasure to serve you. And remember, I love you. God loves you. We all love you. I see you. I want you to feel seen. I want you to feel loved. That is my intent. And I will see you this Wednesday night for Demi Blush.